online na. Okay, um, good afternoon everyone. And before anything else, I would like to greet you um, a happy new year. Sana'y naging masaya ang pagsalubong nyo sa bagong taon. Charot. <laughs> um, uh, for today, uh, I welcome you all, of course. I welcome you to, to this um, virtual lecture. And uh, for today's video, we'll be talking about beams. Specifically, we'll talk about um, uh, the shear and the moment diagram. And I know you already have um, discussed this during your, uh, what's the subject? The strength of materials. Okay, but, but we'll have um, a short recap, a short recap for, uh, for this topic. And also, uh, later on, we'll discuss about the, uh, um, We'll discuss about the deflection using two uh, methods. We have here the virtual work method and the other one is the double uh, integration method. Okay, so without further ado, um, let us have an example. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I have here an example. So where to co uh, to to construct? Let me have here. We are to construct the the shear and the moment diagram. Okay, ko kung baga short recap lang ini. Okay, so for us to to construct the shear and moment diagram, of course, the step number one is to always solve for the reaction, de ba? Pero ito niya, always try to solve first for the reaction. And for this case, since we are dealing with um, a simply supported beam, uh, where a uniformly, uh, sorry, um, a point load acting at the midpoint of the beam. So to, to solve for the reaction, the reaction at, at point A and at point B is, uh, you can automatically solve the bar that the reaction is for point A, we have here the RA, and that is equal to um, half of the applied load, and that is 7.5. Okay, this is 7.5, this is in kilonewton. And also we have here um, RB, this is equal to 7.5 kilonewton. Okay, now, to solve for the, ano, for the, I mean, to draw the shear diagram and the moment diagram, but there are different methods in, in constructing the, the diagram, the shear diagram and the moment diagram, ever the area method, but for this case, for this discussion, we'll not use the, ano, the area, uh, the area method. We will use the, uh, we'll have first to look for the, um, the equation, the equations of the uh, of the shear diagram and of the moment diagram. Okay. Pero it akon it pick making din eh, para madagmit kita. It akon la na imuon, it akon la ni bibilhon is the equation of the moment diagram because uh, later I will show you why. Okay. So for segment AC, okay. Diba to construct the I mean to find the equation of the moment diagram for segment AC mag magkakat ka yung cutting plane, magpapas ka yung cutting plane at of course, at segment AC. Okay? So, I'll write it here at segment AC. Okay, so, this is your cutting plane here. Okay? From the cutting plane, nga to ha left, kukuha ang kuan and beam. So, this is the beam. And this here is your cutting plane. And you have here um, RA, which is 7.5. This is in kilonewton. And since nagkat ka man ano, may dani mo din he, shear. Parang nagro-react ito ni Dida, may dani mo shear. And of course, may dani mo moment. This is your moment. And this one right here is your shear. And ako ni ko construct first is the, I mean, ang akong bibilngon first is the um, equation of the moment diagram. How do we do that? O igsasam natin ang moment, ang tanan nga moment at, at the cutting plane din he. This is the cutting plane. Ida natin bibilngon ang summation of moment. And that, since this is in state of equilibrium, the summation of moment at that section is equal to zero. And we will take clockwise as the positive moment. 
Okay, and this distance right here is, this is x. Diba? That is x. So, uh, you are summing the moment here. So, the moment for 7.5, that is positive because we are taking clockwise as the positive moment. That is 7.5 times x. 7.5x. And of course, we have here the moment. Adiman. This one right here. So, minus moment. This is equal to 0. So, your moment, this will be your moment is equal to 7.5x. Now, this is your equation of the moment diagram for, for AC, okay, at segment AC. Okay, now the explanation why ginuna ko ang pagkuha han, ano, han, han equation, han moment diagram because, um, kung di pa ka mamaaram, the relationship between the uh, what's this? The relationship between the equation of the moment diagram and the equation of the shear diagram is that when you find the, uh, when you get the first derivative of the moment diagram, okay, yeah? when you get the first derivative of the moment diagram, of the equation of the moment diagram, you will get the equation of the shear diagram. So, masarin ka. So, the, the derivative of the moment diagram is the shear diagram. Now, this is equal to. So, the derivative of 7.5x is 7.5. So, this is your equation for the shear diagram. Okay? Okay. So, dili masarang kita. At x equal to 0, ibig sabihin at this point. Didi, hindi din hinga point. At x is equal to 0. Yan. When x is equal to 0, your value of the shear is equal to Your value of the shear is equal to 7.5. Yan. And then value, and value and moment is equal to 7.5 times x. But since x is 0, so your moment is 0. Yan. Okay. At x, sorry, at x equal to, at segment AC mga kita, ano? So, an x nga pinakadako is 3. At x is equal to 3, so at this point here, Okay, at this point here, your shear is still 7.5 and your moment. So, we have your 7.5 times, um, <clears throat> sorry. We have here 7.5 times x, x is 3. Right, let me get the calculator. We have here 7.5 times 3. So, this is equal to 22.5. Okay. This is 22.5. This is in, of course, in kilonewton meter. This is in kilonewton. Okay, don't forget the one. So, when you construct the shear diagram, so, did you know, when x is 0, the shear is 7.5, somewhere here. So, God. Tapos, when x is equal to 3, 7.5 lagi half. So, an emo shear diagram na. So, God. Yan. So, at segment AC, this is your shear diagram. Okay. At segment, uh, at the mo for moment diagram naman, at point, z at x is equal to 0, your moment is 0. So, it's here. And, at x is equal to 3, your moment is equal to 22.5 somewhere here. So, it's straight in here. Din he, sorry. Yan. So, you need in here, this is seven. This is 7.5 kilonewton. And this one right here, this is 22.5 kilonewton. Okay. Yan. Okay. Okay, now, at segment, ano naman, at segment uh, um, BC, CB. Okay. I erase ko lang na ini because wait lang ha, I erase ko here para may nakita space. Okay. Now, let's, we'll go to at segment 
at CB. Kaya rin nakita at CB. Of course, to to construct the shear and moment diagram, you need first the equation. And to find the equation, you need to pass a cutting plane at segment CB. So, din hi, magka-cutting ka. Or you may use this segment right here to the to the left left segment. Or you may use the right segment. Okay? So, gagamitin natin ang left segment na lang. So, we have here the cutting plane. Tapos, ang may movie, mga DDD. Tapos, at the end, you have here the RA. This is 7.5. And this distance is equal to X. Okay. Tapos, somewhere right here is the 15 kilonewton. Yan. And this distance is 3. Yan. So, this is the cutting plane. And on the cutting plane, you have here the shear and the moment. Okay, then this is the shear. Una na itong makukuha, una and moment, para madali lang pagkuha yung shear. Okay, masura. So, summation of moment at this um, cutting plane, at the cutting plane, should be equal to zero, and we will take the clockwise moment as the positive moment. Okay? So, the forces that will yield a positive moment, of course, the 7.5 multiplied by x minus ang 15, this one right here, 15, and the distance of the 15 from the cutting plane is x minus 3. So, that is 15 multiplied by x minus 3. And, of course, the moment. This is equal to zero. Okay, now, solving for the for the equation of the moment, is the transpose pula yun yung So, this will become m is equal to 7.5x minus 15x minus, oh, plus 45. Is that right? Yes. So, your moment will be equal to, una hong kupag surat it 45 kaya magiging negative it po. 7.5x. Yeah, that's your moment. Now, this is your equation of moment. To solve for the shear equation, the equation of the shear diagram, get the uh, no, the first derivative. So this will be equal to negative 7.5. What na? That's the equation of the shear diagram. So makarika naman at uh, x equal to at C, x is equal to 3. Ano? 3, your shear is equal to negative 7.5. And your moment is equal to... Okay. Your moment is equal to... Okay. Uh, let me use the calculator. So you have here... Um, I one equation. 45 minus 7.5 times your x is 3. Yan. So, the result is 22.5. 22.5. This is, of course, in kilonewton meter. And this is in kilonewton. Okay. At x is equal to... Um, at b, x is equal to 6. 6 your shear is still at negative 7.5 kilonewton and your moment is equal to so when x is equal to sorry when x is equal to 6 we recall the equation right here so this is 6 yeah the answer is 0 so 0 0 at moment okay so to construct Ang construct natin din din. Oops. Wait lang na zoom ko. Okay. So din ni the result is for shear negative 7.5 daw so somewhere here. And at kun negative 7.5 so masukad nga din. Yan. Yan. So, this is negative 7.5 kilonewton. And for the moment, when x is uh, 6, when x is 3, the moment is 22.5. When x is 6, the moment is 0. So, masukalit yan. Oops. 
sorry kilo newton yan okay and this is your moment diagram okay so i might get pagbibiling hit equation now uh i want to reiterate this one ha uh, i know it uh, it iba mag-aram na ha iyo if not all because ini nga topic is gini discuss ini as strength of materials okay what i want to reiterate is that uh the relationship between the shear and moment equation okay so when you when you uh when you get the first derivative of the moment of the moment equation of the equation of the moment diagram you will get the equation of the shear diagram so that's the relationship between the between the two and also another thing that i want to reiterate is the relationship between the diagram of course since the moment the moment equation any an equation and shear and moment diagram are are related of course an era gihap diagram mismo related iton here as to the behavior of the graph okay so mas and and even the load diagram okay so as it relationship it nera okay if the did it hit blanco if the load diagram say for example ha okay so we have here a beam for example and you have here a load diagram uniformly distributed pananglitan okay so we we'll consider this the degree of this ano the degree of the curve pero technically there may a curve this is since flat man here horizontal this is uh, sigunta zero degree in here so pagka dihan shear diagram this is the load diagram ha so pagka dihan shear diagram ma increase ito niya in degree magiging uh, magiging first degree here so masugad na ito niya or bangin sumugad giha basta whatever basta it what i'm trying to emphasize here is the relationship of the degree of the curve, the the, the um the behavior of the graph so dili magiging 1 degree net here tas pagka dihan moment diagram of course ma increase iton here magiging 2 degrees na here so ibig sabihin curve na iton here ma so gan okay magiging curve so kung pananglitan dili palahan ko an let me erase this again so kung pananglitan dili palahan load diagram Dede pala ang load diagram ano na nakakuan na iya naka um, triangular load so this is first degree pagka dihan shear diagram of course you will expect nga curve iton hiya curve iton hiya perme so ano man it degree iton nga curve 2 degrees iton hiya na follow iton hiya dito kun an iya sinusuntan nga diagram as pagka dili hit moment diagram how much more curve gap yo 3 degree so yeah okay so that's the relationship between the the diagrams and its equations okay oops okay, let me erase this <coughs> let me erase okay Okay, by the way ha, if you have questions, please ask your question because may nakita din mga facilitators. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for that. Oh, Ma'am Rina and Ma'am RJ. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get person. <laughs> Anyways, okay, dili kita ini sample problem, another sample problem. Okay. Okay, construct lang ni naton. I mean, let us find first the equation. Okay, dili na kita at segment Dito kita hit at segment uh, um, AC. AC ha nito. Dito ha. AC. Ado nga segment. Okay. So, to to find the equation, magka, magpapas kayong cutting plane. Dito Then, i-isolate ni mo and imuging cut na cutting plane. So, this is the cutting plane. Tapos, this is the beam. Oops. Yan. Ay, of course. Wait lang ha. Nangalimot ako. Of course, the first step is always to solve for the reaction. I'm sorry. Okay, so, to so let us solve first for the reaction. Okay, let us try to solve for the reaction first. So, 
how do we solve for the reaction? Okay, so we have here, oops, we have here um, RA and we have here RB. Okay, so dito lang kita hit RA. So, then for RA, so magsasam kita had moment at B. This is equal to zero. Let us take all moment, clockwise moment as the positive moment. So, we'll have um, RA multiplied by 5. And we have here pla minus, minus 10 times 4. Adi ha? Adi nga 10 times 4 times, and magnitude pala itong hand, mom, hand, hand force, times the moment arm, that is 1 plus 2. 3. So, this is 3. Nakuha, kung kaya nang nakuha nga 3, because we have your 1, tapos ang katong hand force. So, this is, yan. Wala nang iba, di ba? This is equal to 0. So, then for the value of RA, RA is equal to, um, 4 times 3 is, 12 times 10 is 120. So this is 120 over 5. 120 over 5 is equal to 120 over 5. My God, did I not get This is equal to 24. 24, this is in kilonewton. Yeah, so that's your RA. Now to solve for RB, We'll use the summation of forces. Summation of forces along y. This is equal to zero. So we have here Ra plus Rb minus 10 times 4. This is equal to zero. You have already the value of Ra that is 24 plus your Rb is oh, bibiling, minus 40 equal to 0. Your RB is equal to 40 minus 24. 40 minus 24 is 16. 16, yes. RB is 16 kilonewtons. So I write it here. Huh? This is RB is 16 kilonewton and your RA is RA is 24. This is in kilonewton, of course. Okay, so that's how you solve for the reaction. Dapat pag solve it reaction, madab mit. So let me try to erase this one. Okay, so we already have the, the reaction. Now, magpapas kayong cutting plane, then we are at, adikita at segment AC. Okay, so this is your cutting plane, and this is your beam. And of course, you have here the reaction, and that is 24 kilonewton. And the distance of that, that force to the cutting plane is X. And you have here a uniformly distributed load, whose magnitude is 10 kilonewton per meter. Yeah, and of course, may rinimo din here shear and the moment. Take note, the shear is always downward and the moment is always counterclockwise. So, we are summing the moment. Take note, moment it unang yung kukuha because we already know the relationship between the moment and the shear. This is equal to zero. We are taking clockwise as the positive moment. And that mga clockwise nga moment, take note, didi kita nagsasamahan moment. Okay, so the positive moments are, we have 24 times x minus 10 times x. That's the magnitude of the force pa lang. Diba? Because this is uniformly distributed load. Times the moment arm, that is x over 2. Yan. Minus, minus the moment. Of course, this moment right here. This is equal to 0. So, uh, so this become moment is equal to 24x minus 
5x squared. Is that right? 24x minus 5. Yes. So this is your equation for the moment. Next, you have here the, the equation of the shear diagram. You just need to find the derivative of the moment diagram. This is equal to 24 minus 10x. What? 24 minus 5 times 2, that is 10 times x. So this is the shear diagram. Yan. So makalika naman didi. At x equal to 0, meaning at this point, din he. Okay, when x is equal to 0, your shear is equal to, let me get my calculator, that is 24 minus 10 times x. Your x is 0. 24. Okay, again, this is 24. Bakit din compute po pa? 24 kilonewton. And your moment... Your moment is equal to 24x minus 5x squared. 24x minus 5x squared. So when x is equal to 0, the value is 0. So your moment is 0. Okay. So at x is equal to 4, ibig sabihin at point C, x is equal to 4, your shear is equal to, uh, let me, so this is 24 minus 10x. I hope na nasusundan ha. That is 24 minus 10x when x is equal to 0, a uh, 4 pala, 4. Your value is negative 16. This is negative 16 kilonewton. And your moment is equal to, oops, let me recall the equation, this one right here, x is equal to, wait lang, for, wait lang, wait lang, 24x, Minus 5. Parang mali ada ako. When x is 4, 16. So 24 minus 10x. When x is 4, 16. Ah, okay. Negative 16, di positive 16. This is in kilonewton. Okay. Now, we will construct, you have here 0 and, oh, shear pala is 24, so ano did it? somewhere here, so let me, this is 24, sorry, we're in a space, let me erase this one, okay, but some did that one. Okay, so somewhere here, this is 24 kilonewton. And at point C, when x is equal to 4, your shear is negative 16. Ah, did you do both? Ah, negative 16. So, o, oh, maano ka naman? Is the curve ba hiya or straight line? O, oh, ah, mati dit gamit. Kita o ni mo, it sinusundan niya nga, nga diagram and load diagram. The load diagram, the degree of the load diagram is Kung man niya, horizontal. Okay, so horizontal. Sa pagkadididiha share diagram, magiging inclined here. Straight line lagi ha, pero inclined. Oops. Parang masok gan. Yan. So this is the shear diagram. At segment AC. Okay, how about the moment? When x is equal to 0, your moment is 0 here. When x is equal to 4, your moment is 16. At hobaw bow, somewhere here, positive 16. Now, what is the behavior of the graph? Straight line ba? Curve ba? Again, ha? Kikitaan ni mo, it sinusundan nga diagram, the shear diagram. The degree of the of the curve of the shear diagram, dirigan niya curve line lahiya. 
So, the degree is 1. Diba? So, pagka hindi ha moment diagram, and iya degree magiging 2. O, ibig sabihin, curve na hiya. Now, it question, ano ang klase nga ka-curve? Nasugad ba? Or nasugad ba? Diba? Okay. It titigam ng laniyo. Kikitaon niyo dito habaw, it sinusundan niyo nga diagram. Diba? We are looking for the diagram of the moment. The moment diagram. Ano itong ging bibiling? Kikitaan niyo mo and sinusundan niyo and that is the shear diagram. Okay. So, we are at segment AC. Hindi kita segment AC. At point A, the shear, the shear at point A is 24. The shear at point C is negative 16. So, nag-decrease siya, di ba? From 24 to negative 16. Okay. So, adi ha? Curve nga ni Imugin Bibiling. Curve nga ni. The curve will behave like this if decreasing. Nag-decrease. Di ba? The curve will behave like this if increasing. Okay, na smile nga ni positive. Na sad nga ni negative. Okay, so okay. The the behavior of the curve is something like this if nagdi-decrease and sinusundan nga diagram, uh, the behavior of the curve will look like this if ang sinusundan nga diagram is nag-i-increase. Okay, kita ah. Nag-increase ba or nag-decrease ang sinusundan? The shear diagram from 24 to negative 16, nag-decrease, di ba? So, the behavior of the graph, the behavior of the graph should look like this. Okay. So, from 0 to 16, masugad itong hiya dapat. Yan. Okay. okay. So, that's the behavior of the graph. Okay, so we are done with segment AC. Now, let, let's go to segment uh, um, BC. Okay, let me put this away. Oops. Let me erase this one first. So, wala na akong space. Okay. Now, let's go to at segment CB. Okay. So, hindi kita segment CB. So, magpapas kita yung cutting plane din he, here. Diba? Pas kita yung cutting plane din da. Then, we isolate the, the ano. We have to isolate the, the section. Take note ha. You can isolate the, the section to the left. Or you can isolate the section to the right. Bisan ha it So, for the sake of discussion, we will use the section to the right. Okay, so this is the cutting plane and we will use the section to the right. <laughs> section to the right. So, we have here the 16 kilonewton. Okay, then of course, may din natin di shear and moment. Kita ah. Kung gamit natin ang section to the right and 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 direction na natin shear and direction na natin shear is pasugad plus and direction na natin moment is pasugad di ba since we use the ano the, the the section to the right and atong shear will go up di ba action reaction newton's third law of motion in every action there is always equal and opposite reaction so downward man and didi ha left pagka di upward then, counterclockwise man, pagka di, clockwise. Okay? Oh, let me erase this one. Let me erase this. Okay. So, did the, and imo, this is your shear, and your moment, your moment is uh, clockwise. So, masugan. Yan. Okay, so kukuha natin ang moment equation. So, we will sum the moment at this section, cutting plane, at the cutting plane, is equal to zero. We'll take, of course, clockwise as the positive moment. And this distance is x. So, this is negative uh, um, 16x. Negative 16 times x because we are taking the clockwise moment as the positive moment. Plus the moment this moment right here 
and uh, there are no other forces that will generate moment. Okay, so this is equal to zero. So when you um, transpose negative 16x to the right side of the equation, so you have the moment is equual to 16x. And this is your moment equation. And to solve for the shear equation, derivative, so this is 16. Yan. So this is the equation of the shear. And at, at x is equal to 4, at x equal to 4, your shear is equal to 16, and your moment is equal to 16 times 4, that is 64 by 16 times 4. 16 times 4. 64. That is 64. This is in kilonewton meter. Okay. At x is equal to uh, let me see. 5. Diba? At x is equal to 5, your shear is equal to um, 16 lang ahaw. Diba? 16 lang ahaw. And your moment is equal to 16 times 5. And that is 16 times 5. That is 80 kilonewton. Oops. Something is wrong. Mali. Wait lang. I'm sorry. Mali ako. Because, and atong hinabit ngayon is the right side, uh, the, the right segment. So, we cannot use, wait lang. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Because, an atong ginamit is the left section. So, ibig sabihin, an atong origin is, of course, the right, um, the right support. So, an atong point zero is, ah, hindi nahi. So, an right support, an atong, ano. So, when x is equal to zero, x is equal to 0. So, height nga point. Kaya dito nga point. Didi. This right here. When x is equal to 0, your shear is equal to um, 16. 16 lang ahaw. Positive 16. Oops. 16 ba? Mm, wait lang. I think I might be wrong. Mm -hmm. Because when we, when we, I know. Okay, wait lang. Let's take a break. Five minute break, wait lang.
Okay. Okay, something is wrong with my solution. Okay, again. Uh, ano kasi, di ba? Uh, I forgot nga when the shear is zero, okay, right here, at this point here, when the shear is zero, supposedly, dapat a-add to dito at maximum moment. Okay? Supposedly, dapat a-add to dito at maximum moment. So, let me rewrite again the, the shear and moment the, uh, equation. So, the moment equation, kanina, at segment, ada kita, mabalik kita ha, at segment. At segment AC. Mabalik kita lang yung at segment AC. Okay. At segment AC, the moment equation is, let me rewrite it again. This is 24x minus, excuse me, 5x squared. Shear is equal to 24 minus 10x. Is that right? Yes, minus 10x. Okay, so I'm going here. So, um, I'm gonna ini at at um, x is equal to zero. Same na na, na, na natin. Your shear is equal to 24, and your moment is equal to zero. Nakuha na natin kang ina ini. And at x is equal to four, your shear is equal to um, negative 16, and your moment is equal to 16. Okay, kailangan pa natin ngayon mabiling ang moment didi, didi, at this at this point right here. Because, when shear is zero, a-add to dito it maximum moment. Okay? So, first first thing you have to do is to identify the distance. This distance. Ano ba ito yung distance? Masayang let on here, you can use the the ratio and proportion. Let me erase this one first because this is wrong. Okay. Let me erase. Oops. Okay, so we need to find this distance. Let me denote this as um, A na lang, A. Small letter A. So to solve for that small letter A, we, we can use the ratio and proportion. Okay, ratio and proportion. Kung man ito here, triangle. Okay, so we have here this triangle is proportional with this triangle right here. Diba? Ini nga triangle ini is proportional to this triangle. So we can say um, 24 oh, wait lang. A is to 24 is equal to if this is A, what is this distance? That is 4 minus A, right? Because the, from here nga D is 4. So from here nga D is A. So this distance is 4 minus A. So, this is 4 minus A over 16. Yan. So, to solve for A, you can use the, ano, <clears throat> to solve for A, we have, um, X over 24 um, is equal to 4 minus minus a over 16 your x is 2.4 so your a is 2.4 meters so we say this distance is this is 2.4. So, we need to find for the moment pa at 2.4. At x is equal to 2.4, of course, your shear is equal to 0 because you already know a 0. And your moment is equal to what is your moment? Adi na natin equation. You only need to use the equation. Okay, using the equation, uh, we have here 24x minus 5x squared when x is equal to 2.4 2.4 your moment is 28.8 so 28.8 sya 
kilonewton meter. So, ada. So, indeed, maximum here dito, di ba, kay 16 lang dito. Tapos, at this, at, at this point, hindi, 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 dapat 28 here. So, add here dito. This is 28.8. And, indeed, still, di ba, and yeah, behavior hand graph is like this. So, masuka dito nga nga dito. Yan. Okay, ha? So, ini. Mag zero nga ni each shear, add to ito did to it maximum moment. So, sometimes, the, the problem would say, find the maximum moment. Okay. Takay dali ko man maaram kung hain, hain di in nag-occur and maximum moment. So, the first thing you have to do is to find the, the, the point where the shear is zero. May dito mga problem nga. Yung papabiling and magnitude and maximum moment. So, your first, ano, your first uh, problem there is actually to find the point and, uh, that has a zero shear so that you can find the magnitude of the moment. Okay, so that's it. Okay, now let's go to segment AC. Segment CB pala, segment CB. We'll go to segment CB. Let me erase this one. Okay, so at segment at segment CB or BC, okay, we pass a cutting plane and let us try to use the left hand na lang kay there na a shit solution. Okay, so this is the the cutting plane and this is the the segment, the left segment. So we have here the 24 kilonewton. And we have here the the uniformly distributed load, and the distance this distance is four, and this distance is x. Magnitude is ten kilonewton per meter. So this distance, ini. Oh, never mind. Never mind that distance first. So this is you have your shear and you have here the moment. Okay, so to solve for the, the equation, to find for the equation of the moment, we sum the moment at, at the cutting plane right here, that is equal to zero. Okay, we will take the clockwise as the positive moment. And uh, the forces that will generate positive moments is this one, 24 kilonewton. This is in kilonewton. So we have here 24, and the moment arm is x. Minus, we have here 10 times 4, that's the magnitude of the force, multiplied by the moment arm, and that is um, from the centroid of this triangle uh, rectangle here, diba? So that is, from from the cutting plane, nga didi is x, and from the centroid, nga didi is 2. So this distance is x minus 2. So that is x minus 2. Okay? And of course, the moment minus moment is equal to 0. So your moment is equal to 24x minus 40x plus 80. Yan. Aba? 40x, 40 times 2 is 80. Maging positive. Okay, that's it. And simplifying this further, this is equal to 24, ah, sorry, 24x plus minus 40 is 16, negative 16. So this is 80 minus 16x. That's your moment. And your shear, that is negative 16. Yeah, negative 16, good man. Okay. X is equal to 4, your shear is equal to negative 16. And your moment is, let's use your calculator, 80 minus 16x. Yan. When X is 4, 16. Your moment is 16. At X... At x is equal to 5, shear is equal to 
Uh, of course, negative 16 lang ah, how. And your moment. Let us recall this moment. When x is 5, the answer is 0. Your moment is 0. Yan. So, you, uh, your shear is 16. And when x is equal to 5, 16. So, what straight line yun yun. So, God. Yan. Negative 16. Tapos, did is 0. So, curve gap. Ah, uh, no, no, no. There is curve. Straight lang here. Because, ang uh, sinusundan nga diagram is um, horizontal. So, pagka di, um, straight line lang ako here. Pero, naka, kuhan na here. Yan. So, this is your shear diagram. Okay, take note ha. The degree of this curve is 2. Yan. So, that's it. That's how you solve for the ano the shear and moment diagram okay so so much for that okay the the next topic is finding the deflection naman okay so if you have question ha again if you have question please ask your question you may ask your question on the chat dito na aton chat and private chat or you can you you can use the live chat if you have question Okay, so we'll go to the next topic. Finding the deflection using the double integration method. How do you get the double integration method? here Oops. okay so how do we find yeah okay let us have this example where to find for the um, deflection say Gimpapabiling it deflection. Now, wait lang. Kaya ano ba kay, kailangan natin may baruan it pag find it deflection? Ano ba it deflection? Deflection, di ba, when a beam is subjected to load, nagde-deflect ito niya. When we say deflection, parang nagsasag ba? So, for example, in a simply supported beam, when this is subjected to um, a force, uh, concentrated, concentrated load, as shown, this beam will deflect. Parang mag- it e elastic curve will look like this. I exaggerate ko lang ha. Exaggerate lang ini for the sake of discussion. Ah, so god, mga amen niya it iya it iya behavior parang magsasag ito niya. Okay? But in reality, in reality nagsasag talaga hiya pero diri suga dito not that much. Okay? Kay makarad look na ito ngin suga na ito nit pag deflected imo balay. <laughs> Okay, so, it gives you a deflection is this distance. Ini nga distance. Ami ito niya, kinyaya ka nga deflection. So, where to find for that deflection? Using the double integration method. Okay, so, paano man ginbibiling it double integration method? Okay, first step is again, of course, to find for the reaction at its supports. Okay ha, simply supported beam man la ini. And also, this is the, the 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 concentrated load is acting at the midpoint, mid span of the beam. So you can we can just immediately find the reaction at point A that is five kilonewton, and that point B is five kilonewton. Yan. Okay. Now the next step is to find, I mean, uh, yes, to find the equation of the moment. Okay. Kasi, it double integration. Nasa gani ni ha? Okay. Bibil mo ni mo an um, uh, ano ba itawag ito? The, the moment. M-E-I. Wait lang. Um, Okay. 
Wait lang, may ako na ngalintan. Uh, wait lang ha, wait lang. Um, Wait lang ha. Okay. Hello? No, no, pati ano. Okay, let's go back. Okay, nangalimut ako han, han notation. Uh, yan. Okay, so we have here, um, and ano daw kasi, uh, uh, y double prime is equal to um, the moment over EI. Okay. Then when you integrate this one, when you integrate this, uh, when you integrate this one, so an makukuha nyo is y prime and uh, of course the integral of moment over EI plus C. Okay, C1. And when you integrate again, this will become Y double prime is equal to... Okay, let me erase this one, huh? Okay, when you integrate again, it's the Y double prime. This is not double prime. Magiging Y na lang siya. So, this is the double integral of the moment over EI plus C1X of course, you'll integrate mo plus C2 yan, ah, may itong hiya equation okay, inihiya this one, this one right here ah, may hiya, sinisiring a deflection this is the deflection and this one right here itawag itong hiya is rotation or sometimes called as slope slope Okay, ano ito ibig sabihin ito nga slope? So, for example, ginbibiling an, at this point, ano ito nga slope? When you uh, construct a tangent line at that point to the, to the, koan, to the elastic curve of the ano, deflected curve na, ito nga slope nga ginyayakan is this angle. Ito. Okay? Ano ito nga angle. Okay. Only na later i-explain ko ito nga. But first, let us focus more laan ay at the deflection because that's our topic for today the deflection okay so in order for you to find for the deflection it imo pinaka number one concern dida is the moment equation you need to find the moment equation for the whole beam okay ha? 
the moment equation for the whole beam. Now, remember, kanina, uh, kanginahan first topic natin is constructing the shear and moment diagram using the equation of the of the shear and moment diagram, di ba? Oh, that's uh, the reason why uh, may daman kung ano masayon ng pagfinehan ko an an pagconstruct han shear and moment diagram and that is the the area method. But I hope to to use the the um the one where we need to first find the equation because in this topic. You you will use that I know that that skill in finding the equation of the 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 moment equation. Okay, so panu man. Okay, let me erase this first. Okay, so panu man. Okay, it atong gin bibiling an moment equation han whole beam. An kanina ang kanginan for this topic an atong dibag gin bibiling naton an moment equation by segment at segment A sila anay at segment CB naman and so on and so forth. Yan na it atong bibilngon an ia moment equation for the whole beam. Okay? The moment equation for the whole beam. And to do that, uh, makatukala dito hit pinaka last nga segment. Okay? How many segment are there? There are two segment, the AC and CB. Dito ka magpapasingkating plane han pinaka last nga segment. And that is CB. Okay. So, dito ka magpapasing cutting plane. Uh, Papasing yung cutting plane here. This is your cutting plane. Uh, this is your cutting plane. And you will isolate from the cutting plane to the right. To the left, I mean. To the left. Masugan. This is your cutting plane. And this is your beam. Of course, you have here 5 kilonewton. And you have here 10 kilonewton. And you have here shear and of course the moment. And this is x. And this is 2 meters. Yan. So to solve for the moment, this is your shear and this is your moment. So you have here summation of moment at the cutting plane is equal to 0. Taking clockwise is positive. So we'll get moment is equal to 5 times x. Uh, yes, 5 times x uh, minus 10 um, times 10 times x minus 2. x minus 2. Okay. Diba, if you can remember kanina, uh, if you apply this kanina, this equation is actually the equation of the moment diagram at segment CB. Okay, that this is the equation of the moment diagram at segment CB. Actually, okay, paano man ito natin may himo nga maging kuan hiya, uh, the, the moment diagram for the whole beam. Okay, simple lang. In, in here, this one right here, we baluan mo lahin ini nga sign. Instead nga parenthesis, we'll use this sign. Parang bracket nga uh, less than, greater than. Okay. What that indicate is when the value within that koan, within that uh, uh, that quantity, the value within that quantity is less than zero, meaning negative. Mag negative nga ni itong hiya, this whole, ano, this whole uh, term will be disregarded. Okay. For example, when x is, uh, say for example, when x is um, 0, when x is 0, the value within that, uh, no, within the bracket is equal to negative 2. So, ibig sabihin, this one right here, you will disregard it. You might disregard it. Dari mo na hiyagagamiton. Okay? Amo it ibig sabihin ito nga. Kuan. Okay. So, this is the moment equation. Now, next... So, the moment equation, kanina ha, uh, you have here the y double prime is equal to the moment over EI. Or we can write this as EI y double prime is equal, ah, sorry, EI y double prime, y double prime is equal to M. Yan, EI y double prime is equal to M. Okay, so... Let me write it here. EI y double prime 
is equal to the moment. And the, the moment is, ano naman ang moment? This is equal to 5x minus 10, x minus 2. Okay, take note, ang gibibiling natin nga deflection is the deflection at the mid-span. Then here, amoy ito ining in, 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 distance and natin gibibiling. Okay. So, when you integrate, in, when you integrate this one, magbibiling nga nimo an EI, integral of y double prime is y prime, of course. This is equal to, uh, never mind this one na, ano na lang a 5x. This will become, integral of 5x is, 5x squared over 2 and this is negative um, 10 x minus 2 squared over 2 plus c c1 mm -mm. Yan. and when you integrate again your e i y double prime ah, sorry not y double prime e i y y na lang this is equal to um 5 yes 5 x cube over 6 minus that is 5 times 3 ah sorry 5 x minus 2 cube over 3 Ini nga 5, that is 10 over 2, that is 5. Kung nag-integrate lang kita ha, ura-ura naman, hindi ka makakunit integral. Okay. <laughs> plus C1x plus C2. Diba? If you can still remember, nag-integrate ka nga ni, waring nga ni, plus C. Wrong ito. <laughs> Yan. So, Okay. So, ini, ini, ini. This one right here, this is our equation for the deflection. That is your equation for the deflection. Ini naman, this is your equation for the rotation or the slope. And yes, slope ba? Okay? So, ini, ini, amo yun hiya it aton actually kailangan la. Okay? Amo yun it aton kailangan. Let us try to solve um, sample questions. Panaglitan, may dakita mga question. Let me erase this first, ha? I-erase ko lang ng ini para may dako space. Okay. Panaglitan, ang ginpapabiling the deflection at point C. Okay, syempre, masaring ka, deflection. Uh, adi ito nit ginpapagamit. Okay, deflection man. Adi nga, an ikaduha nga gin, kuan, nga gin integrate. Oh, this is the deflection. Adi man, the y here is the deflection. Ang ei naman, ang ei, this is the the ano um and property itun hian section. Uh, we will discuss it as we go on. Uh oh, an e, di ba? E is the modulus of elasticity. The i is the um moment of inertia. E is the elastic uh, modulus of elasticity, and i is the moment of inertia. Oh, mga capital it here. Uh -oh. So, ano ang ibibiling is y. Okay, ang ibibiling man kasi is deflection at point C. Ibig sabihin, adi at atong gagamit. Because this is the equation. But there is a problem. Kaya ano? Uh, ang ibibiling is, yan hiya, take note ha. Adi ang ibibiling, y. So, based on this equation, you need to find the value of x. ba? Ano it value it x at this point? Diba? What is the value of x at point C? The value of x at point C is this distance. Diba? At point at point A kasi your x is 0. At point C, your x is 2 meters. So, ibig sabihin, you just need to substitute 2 here at x. Tapos, makukuha na natin ang value and y. Amo ba? Okay, not so fast. Because, dirigihap kita maaram han value han C1, nga han C2. Take note ha? To solve for y, again, to solve for y, this y here, never mind the ei because that's constant. Constant itong hiyag. Usually, ginahatag itong hiyag problem. Okay. 
Never mind the ei ha. To find for the y, the deflection, you need the value of x, which you can easily find here because you know naman kung ha hindi in ang gimpapabiling na deflection. O sabi rin ako, find the deflection at point C. What's the value of x at point C? 2. Usually, rasa ito kaya na, find the deflection at point, at a point, 3 meters from the left support. O, adi itong didi nga point somewhere here because this point right here is 3 meters from the left support. Usually, ginahatag itong kung haing nga point ang gimpapabiling ang deflection. So, din hi, an x, diri natin problema because we can easily find the value of x and that is 2 meters because ang gimpapabiling is the deflection at the mid-span. It atong problema is to find for the value of C1 and C2. So, how do we find the value of C1 and C2? Para mabiling natin ito ng C1 and C2, nag-apply kita, it sinisirin ng boundary condition. Boundary condition. Ano ito niya ang mga boundary condition? Okay. First, okay. Boundary condition. At x is equal to 0, hain ito nga x equal to 0, din niya, at the support. At the support, at x is equal to 0, the value of the deflection, what's the value of the deflection? Of course, 0. Di rito niya dito magde-deflect because add to the support. Okay. At x is equal to 0, the value of the deflection is 0. So, mas rin katilid niya. O sa ito nga boundary condition. At x is equal to 0, your y is equal to 0. O, di ba? Haim pa di init y is 0. Of course, at the other support. What's the value of x at the other support? At x is equal to 4. Since that is a support, di rin man natin ito magde-deflect. Because supports are considered rigid your y is also equal to 0. May nakita duduha nga boundary condition and that is enough to solve for the value of C1 and C2. Okay. We will use the ano ha? We will use the um, this equation. In, in, this equation. So, at x is equal to 0, mas rin ka e i e i at x is equal to 0, your y is 0. e i y y is 0 daw. So, this is 5. X is 0. Okay, I, I'm using this equation, ha? 6 minus. We will disregard this na because when X is 0, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Diba? Naya ka na kangina. I e disregard natin if the value within that uh, quantity is, within that bracket is negative. Less than zero. Mag negative nga ni, you disregard that. So, diri ko na yung isusurat ito yan hinga nga quantity. Because nag zero, nag negative man yan. So, i disregard ko ini nga term. Okay? So, i disregard ko ito hinga. Ano ko na isusurat didi? Plus C1, the value of X is zero. So, maging zero na hinga. Plus C2. Okay? So, this is zero na. And unknown na la didi. This is also zero. This is also zero. Diba? Ibig sabihin, C2 is 0. Wada na. May nakita valuehan C2. Ibutang ko lang nila. C2 is equal to 0. Yan. Okay, let me erase this one again ha. Because I don't have uh, space. Kuti lang itak space. Okay, now, let's go to... Okay, may nakita si ito, ha? Let us use the second boundary. This is the first boundary condition kasi adyan ni Kadoha nga boundary condition. So, apply natin ang first boundary condition. Nakuha natin ang value ng C2. Let us apply the second boundary condition. Using the same equation. Let us use the same equation. Okay. Asa nga tira-da? EI. And Y daw is 0. Of course, 0 lang nga ha, ha? is equal to 5 times when x is 4 cube over 6 minus di rin natin nag-disregard because and add it sulod di rin naman negative that is 4 minus 2 cube over 
3 plus C1 times 4. And C2 is 0 naman. So, we call it that 0. Now, you have this equation. Huh? So, this is 0 and 0. Okay, so this will be, this is 0 is equal to, I think, there is nakikita. Ano, madam? Okay. Hindi rin nakikita. Wari nag, wari nag Wari nga <laughs> Okay. Um, tama, di rin ngayon nakikita. I'm sorry. Okay. So, let us uh, solve for the value of C1. So, this is your 5, um, 5 times 4 cube over 6. Yan. So that is 160 over 3. This is 160 over 3 minus this one right here. That is 5 to cube over 3. And that is 40 over 3. This is 40 over 3 plus C1 times 4. Okay, solving for the value of C1, you will get, let me try to solve, 0, 160 over 3 minus 40 over 3 plus x uh, so plus c1 and that is times 4 solving for the value of c1 your value is negative 10 so your value for c1 is negative 10 when I c1 that is negative 10 let me put it here c1 is equal to negative 10 yan okay let me erase again because I don't have many spaces. I think for another copy to come in and also. Signal. Okay, let us try to solve first. Okay. Take note, meron nakita C1, meron nakita C2. We will use, of course, the same, ano, the same equation. Let me write it here, love. The equation. Uh, e, I, S, S. Hello? What happened? Uh, let me write it here, love. Wait, love. Uh, e, I, uh, y prime, the slope, is equal to 5x squared over 2 minus 10 x minus 2 squared over 2 plus c1. And the other equation, aiy double prime, uh, not double prime, aiy plus is equal to 5x cubed over 6 minus 5x minus 2 cubed over 3 plus c1x plus c2. Yan. Okay. And let me erase this. Okay, so we already have the value of Okay, we already have the value of C1 and C2 Okay, ang ipapabili natin is the deflection at point C So, basta nilang kita at 
x equal to 2, ang ginpapabiling is the value of y. Ang ginpapabiling is the value of y. So, how do we find the value of y? Oh, kung gamito natin ito yan, hing equation. So, masin kita, e i y is equal to uh, 5x squared. The value of x is 2. 5x cubed pala, sorry. 5x cubed over um, 6 minus 5. Eh, oh, sorry. x is... 2 minus 2 cube over 3 plus C1 is negative 10. So, negative 9 din he. Minus 10. And your value for X is 2. Yan. Plus C2. C2 is 0. Dire ko na ibubutang. Kay 0 man hinga. Okay. Yan. And this is also 0. Diba? 2 minus 2 is 0. So, yun din he magiging 0 na yung hinga. So, 0. So, your EIY is equal to, that is 5, 5 times 8, 5 times 2 cube, divide 6, that is 20 over 3, this is 20 over 3, okay, so your y, therefore, the deflection, the deflection at point C, your y is equal to 20, over 3 EI. Okay, ha? Wari man kita nagatagan valuehan EI. But take note, ha? EI is just um, uh, constant. Constant man it EI, so Okay, so that's the value for the deflection at the mid-span. Okay? So that's how you solve for the deflection. O panang litan. Pananglitan. Pananglitan ang ginbibiling is the slope at point C after we apply the 10 kN uh, load. Okay. Pananglitan ang ginbibiling is uh, the, not the deflection but the slope. Okay. Dinhi. The slope at this point. Oh, to, to get the slope at that point, pagkukuhala kita hin tangent line at that point, obviously the tangent line is horizontal. Because, uh, kung man niya, uh, atawag ito, it, pariho it, left and right. Mirror. Mirror. <laughs> Symmetric, yan. Symmetric man niya. So, ibig sabihin, um, the curve will also be symmetric. And kung man niya, elastic curve ba han, ano, han, han beam. So, kay, kung man, symmetric, it follows that the, the tangent line at point C is also horizontal. So, we, we are expecting that the value of the, the theta or the, the slope at that point, at point C, it should be 0. Okay? Let us try to, to, to solve. Kung 0 good man. Kung 0 good man. I'm sorry. Nakako, <laughs> anako. Mainom doon lahat ng doktor. Okay, so that's the value of the deflection. Now, let us try to solve for the slope at point C. Okay, let me try to erase this first. Erase ko lang yung kay Warina kung space. Okay, and this one. Okay, this, this is the slope, ha? Huh? Uh, oops. Uh, let me Oops. let me put it here so this is the deflection okay so that's the deflection Okay, and now we're, we're trying to solve for the rotation or the, the slope. 
the slope at the ano at the Okay, so next kay slope man gyud bibili ano, adding equation tat gagamiton. This one right here. Ini equation. Okay, kay take note how y prime. Di ba ha ha ko an ha ha um differential calculus, the y prime is the slope of the ano, the slope of the the equation, the slope of the function, y prime is the slope of the function. So same gap din ni y prime is the slope. Y prime is the rotation. Okay. So let us try to solve for the rotation at point C. What's the value of x at point C? Oh, x is 2. 2 meters. Tapos ang ibibiling natin is y, y prime. Ama ang ibibiling natin. Y prime ang ibibiling. So gagamitin natin ang EI, that the first equation, this one right here. Y prime is equal to your x is 2 squared over 2. Yan, minus 10 times 2 minus 2. This is 0 naman. So, there na nalig ko compute. So, this is 0. 0 here, kahit 2 minus 2 is 0. Plus, c1 is negative 10. So, negative 10 it here. Minus 10. Okay, so this is EI, Y prime, is equal to 5 times 2 squared is 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Divide 2, that is 10. This is 0. This is minus 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. So therefore, EI, Y prime is indeed equal to 0. So Y prime is 0. So indeed, the, the slope at point C, since that is symmetric, the slope at point C is indeed equal to zero. So that's how you solve for the, I know, for the, um, what's this? For the reaction, uh, sorry, the slope and the deflection. So this is the slope. Okay. Now, let me introduce to you another, I know, another way in solving for the deflection of the, this beam. So, take note that the deflection. Let me put it here. Okay. Um, let me erase again. Okay, let us try to use another way if in solving. Okay, king kadikula didi an an ang kuan and answer naton. Take note the the ano the the deflection is twenty over three ei, and the uh, rotation or the slope is zero. Now let us try to solve this the same problem pero iba nga way. Maya kita si ni a virtual work method or the unit load method. Ano't ibig sabihin nito niya? Yeah. Uh, same lang nga how, uh, by segment logo din niya, by segment, and magbubutang kahin virtual load, virtual load, ibig sabihin imaginary load lang, at the point where you want to find the, ano, where you want to find the deflection. So, kung pananglitan, ang imugin bibili nga deflection is at point C, magbubutang ka dito, mag a ka nga meron dito ni imugin bubutang nga unit load. Ano itong nga unit load? What's the magnitude of that unit load? 1. Ka unit load nga ni, di ba? Okay, so, uh, in unit load method or in virtual work method, let us use this table. We have here the... Oops. I'm sorry. Okay. Let us use this ano, table. May nakita um, portion of the beam. Portion of the beam. Ano ito nga portion of the beam? Kasi may nakita ko an. May nakita different segment of the beam. We have segment AB. Uh, segment AC. We have segment CB. So, segment AC is another portion of the beam. Segment CB is another portion of the beam. 
portion of the beam. Uh, we have here also the origin. Ang origin nga yung mga gamitin. Wait lang ha. Explain ko yung tago sa usa later. Origin and the limit. The limit. Uh, the moment. And the moment due to the virtual load. Okay, ini nga M, capital letter M. Dira da kinikita, sorry. Ini nga M, <clears throat> this M right here, that is the moment of, the moment equation, ha? I'm talking about the moment equation. The moment equation of the beam due to the actual load. Diba? May dakita actual load, DD. May dakita kasi actual load, DD. This, this 10 kN, that is the actual load. Okay. So, ini nga, ini nga capital letter M, that is the actual load, actual moment equation due to the actual load. Okay. Ini naman nga small letter M, that is the moment due to the virtual load. Ang kangina nga yung may ga-assume, mag, mag, magbubutang kahin unit load. Okay, later. I-explain ko ito pa further. This limit naman, because, kaya ano may dakita limit? Because, uh, um, according to this theorem, meaning a virtual work method, according to this theorem, the the first derivative, ah, sorry, the first derivative, the, the deflection daw, the y, or sometimes this is denoted as delta. Sometimes it iraging gagamit, diri y, delta it iraging gagamit. The deflection daw, at any point, is equal to, using the virtual work method, is equal to the moment equation due to the actual load multiplied by the moment equation due to the virtual load over EI. From, of course, may that niya limit. Okay. Yan. The summation. I forgot to, to, I forgot to put the Uh, the summation. Summation because th there are many portion of the beam. Oh, muna din nga portion. Okay, for, okay let, to demonstrate, let us try to solve. Medyo ma malikot it ako ng discussion because guti ay it's green. Parang hindi rin na makita. Okay. Let us try to, to solve this one. Okay, portion of the beam. There are Mini portion of the beam. We have A, B, A, C, and B, C. So, dudo ka portion. May nakita A, C, and <coughs> excuse me, C, B. Okay. Okay, so we have portion of the beam, you have AC and CB. Origin naman. Kaya ano may nakita origin? Because, tag integrate kasi kita. So, nadipindi it value it aton limit kung hain na aton origin. Okay? So, pwede natin gamitin for AC. Mag-construct mag ka na kita it moment diagram for AC. Diba, mag-copass kita yung cutting plane din he. Copass kita yung cutting plane din da. Tapos, ang aton origin usually is at point A. Diba? Tapos at point C, B, pwede kita magpas kita yung cutting plane dili. Tapos naman natin gagamitin nga portion, ah, nga, nga origin is point B. Simple rin, imo limit, mag, magbabag o gihap. Na dependent imo origin. So you have to identify the origin. Okay? For the sake of discussion, let us try to have a uniform origin lanai. For AC, our origin is point A. And at point, uh, at point, uh, portion CB, at segment CB, an aton origin is still at A. Okay, so ibig sabihin, an aton limit, okay, an limit natin na AC, that is, tick note ha, this is AC, AC, that is from 0 to 2. And an CB naman, that is CB, an aton origin as at point A ha, so at point C, that is 2 na, 2 to 4. Now, what will happen if an aton origin naging gamit is, um, point kuan Direk pwede. Direk pwede nga adit but nga adit origin. Never mind. Okay. So, an atong limit is 2 to 4. 
because I'm not an originist at point A. Okay, so ang moment diagram naman, ang itong tat kukuha hindi da, at atun igbibiling. Well, let me try to <laughs> Diyan ako already to ano. Oo. Wait lang ha. Ibabaling ko lang ini nga kuan because uh, waray na space. We need space. Shout. <laughs> We need space madam. <laughs> okay. Let us try to solve for, uh, let us try to, to, to find the moment equation of the beam due to the actual load line, ha? capital letter M, take note, capital letter M, that's the moment due to the actual load, an actual load li like this one, okay. At segment AC sila na kita. Siyempre, segment AC, magpapas ka yung cutting plane, di da. So, ang moment ni mo, this is your Kaya ba nga diri na iguan? Diri na drawing Okay, so you have there the, the moment equation. This is 5 and this is x. x. Yan. Tama na. So your moment, your moment is equal to 5x. That's it. That's your moment. This is 5x. Okay. Ano sa naman for segment CB? Your moment, this is the cutting plane. Tapos, mas ugad, mas, medyo masilaba. You have your 5. And this distance is x. And you have here, may na nimo load didi nga, 10. Okay, so this is, your moment is equal to 5 times x minus 10 x oo so kung ano <laughs> kung oh, 5x times what's this 10 times um, that is x minus 2 x minus 2 yan o oh, diba That is 5x minus 10. Uh, in a space. Minus 10 times x minus 2. Yan. So, that's the moment. Okay. Dili naman kita hit kuan. Dili naman kita hit virtual load. Ano may itong virtual load? Take note, ang ginpapabiling na, ang ginbibiling na ton, is the deflection at the mid span. So, dito kita, kukuhaon natin ang actual load. The actual load is 10 kN. Kukuhaon natin. Tapos, mag a -apply kita dito hin uh, virtual load, unit load. Okay? So, this is the beam. That is the beam. Tapos, mag a -apply kita, kukuhaon natin ang load ng 10 kN. Tapos, mag a -apply kita dito hin virtual load. Okay, ano virtual load? Kay virtual lah hiya. Dari hiya actual load. Mayroon na ito 1 kN. 1 kN that iyo apply kay, di ba, unit load it iya apply. Kung mayroon na 1 di da, mayroon na di 0.5. Mayroon na di 0.5. So, ang imo moment, di di, ang imo moment is 0.5x. Ang imo naman di di moment is 0.5x minus 1 times x minus 2. So, x minus 2 na lang. x minus 2. Yan. Di rin na rin nakikita. Di rin na rin nakikita. Sorry. Yan. Okay, let me try to explain again. Feeling ko, damit din makakagets. Okay. Okay, so this is the virtual, virtual, I know, virtual load, the 1 kN. And these are the, the, I know, the uh, reaction due to the virtual load. So, to find for the equation, moment equation at segment AC, this is ACB. To find for the moment equation at segment AC, kung pupas ka yung cutting plane, di da, okay, di di ko nalay ko, ha, this is the cutting plane, 
and this is the the unit load so meron din the x this is x so your moment your moment small letter m this is denoted by small letter m because this is due to the virtual virtual load your moment is equal to 0.5x what this is the unit load uh, sorry the, the cutting plane so your moment here is the 0.5x as a result as segment cb magpapas king cutting plane din he okay and this distance how here an x so this will be your moment naman this is equal to 0.5x minus 1 times x minus 2 1 times x minus 2 so dire ko naman dire naman natong isusurat it one so that is 0.5x minus x minus 2 that's why we have here we have it here okay so that's how you that's how you solve for the moment pala ito and moment equation pa lang yan. <laughs> Boring daw ano it discussion. <laughs> Dire, pwede may nerabalikon. Okay, so to solve for the ano naman, to solve for the deflection, kagamitin na natin dito yung hinga equation, yung hinga formula. Pwede ba? Yung hinga formula. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Okay. We have here, we'll use this equation. Oops. Okay, summation man ano. So, we have here the delta. Oops. We have here the delta is equal to um, summation. Sorry. Summation. Iguguas ko it EI. Diba? EI kasi is constant. So, pwede natin ito na iguas. 1 over EI. Okay, let, let us go to portion A sila anay, at the portion of the beam. The integral of, what's the M? Ano man? 5X. 5X. What's the small letter M? 0.5X. 0.5X over. Oh, what na over? Kaya ginagawa na nato ng EI. Sayup, sayup. We have here 5X times 0.5x dx. Yan. Okay? Ginguhas ko naman ang EI. And of course, the the limit, ano man ang limit na natin? That is from 0 to 2. Summation ha, because may da pa natin usap pa nga segment. Plus, 1 over EI, the integral of, um, we have here, um, okay, wari na kita space. Let me, Paray kasi space nga daan ba yan? Kulang kasi in space it's screen. So, let me write it below. Ha, below na lang. Plus, 1 over EI, the integral of, ano man? Okay, ha? Capital letter M. Capital letter M is 5x minus 10 times x minus 2. Wadaw. This is a very complicated ano. Times. An M pala ito ha. An M pa lang yan. Actually, pwede kasi natin wait lang. I-simplify good natin nala. Pwede kasi siya i-simplify. Let me erase again. Let, let, let me try to simplify this one. This is equal to 5x minus 10x that is negative 5x plus 20. Right? Or, if I rewrite this one, this is 20 minus 5x. So, ibubutan ko dito, 20 minus 5x. And this one, this is um, 2 minus 0.5x. 2 minus 0.5x dx. Yan. And yun, and yun naman limit, that is from 2 to 4. This is 2 to 4. Yan. So, you will use your calculator naman to find for the value of the deflection. Okay? So, let me use the calculator. Um, integral of 5x 
I am 0.5x mm -hmm. from 0 to 2 plus the integral of 20 minus 5x to minus 0.5x from 2 to 4. The answer is 40 over 3. Of course, don't forget the 1 over EI. Okay, made any 1 over EI times 40 over 3. Yeah, and or this is simply 40 over 3 EI. Uy, 20 mana na ako answer, Didi. Uh, there must be something wrong with my solution. Wait lang. Mm -hmm. Must be, there must be something wrong with my solution. Um... Five x five x. Okay, let, uh, let's take a break la muna.
Okay. So, may da ako mali kanina. Hanakon ko. On. Double integration. Sayo po ako. Okay, so the answer for the delta. Okay, let me, let me, ano again ha. The answer for the deflection at the mid span is equal to 40 over 3 EI. This is the, collect, the correct answer. So, may da ako mali kanina. Hanakon, ano. Okay, let me, let me recall again that. Let me recall kanina han ano. Ay! <laughs> Kinalasan ako. Okay, let me try to recall how we, uh, how we, ah, sorry. Kung ano ang ginbuhat kanina han. Okay, wait lang ha. Okay, let me put it here. Okay, so, ang kanina, uh, an atong equation for, okay, no, no, pwede na sa'yo kalidu. An atong equation for, ano, for the slope is this one. This is 5x squared over 2 minus 10x minus 2. Oh, there is not. There is not slope. An an na lang. An. Y. Ang kanan deflection, EIY is equal to 5x cubed over 6 minus 5x minus 2 cubed over 3 plus C1 times x and plus C2. Diba this is the equation? So, ang atong yung bibiling is the deflection at point 2, at point C. And that is x is equal to 2. Okay, so, to solve that, when we substitute this, EI, this is equal to um, 5 times 2 cubed times 6, over 6 pala, minus 5, um, 2 minus 2 cubed over 3, plus, oh, hindi plus, because the C1 is negative 10, if I'm correct. Negative 10 kasi ang C1 natin kanina. Negative 10 times x is 2. Okay, so solving for the value of EIY. Okay, let me try to solve again. Bakit mali na ako nakuha kanina? 20 man na ako nakuha. 5 times 2 cube over 6 minus 5. Uh, 2 minus 2 is 0. So, dire ko na ito. Because this is 0. 0 man yan siya. Okay. Minus <coughs> 10 times 2. Negative 40 talaga. So, that's correct. Negative 40. So, that is negative 40 over EI. Ah, over 3. Over 3. Not over EI. No Negative here because downward and ia deflection. Diba kay downward man and move and unload. Okay. So this is equal to um, negative 40 over 3 ei. Okay. Never mind the the ano the the sign. The sign only indicates the direction of the ano of the deflection. So negative nga ni ibig sabihin downward. <laughs> okay, so mali ini nga answer. Uh, so mali an 20. Oo. Oh, oh. Bongin na na kung pag-calculator kanina. This one, this is not correct. Uh, because this is. Hmm, put it here lang. Okay. So that's how you that's how you solve for the ano for the um uh reaction I'm sorry reaction the the deflection using the two ano. Okay. I'll have actually made up ako ko an made up ako um another example. Okay, last example na lang this one. This will be my last example.
Let me try to put it here. Where is Castle Kuan? Go to its space. Pailagu ha. Okay. Okay. Let us see. Let me try to discuss this one. First, using the ano the the double integration method. Okay, so nasagot yun eh. O, kailangan, may, may dala na yun natin reaction. We have to find the reaction first. So, <laughs> there are reaction nga, ha? Huh? There is so gano'n na reaction. <laughs> Grabe ka naman. <laughs> Ano reaction? <laughs> okay. So, we have here the, uh, the summation of moments at point B is equal to zero. Taking clockwise is the positive you have here. R A. R A multiplied by six minus five times four times four times so because two plus two. Ani kasi din ni it yako ano niya magnitude na ko so this distance nga di is four. This is equal to zero. So, your RA is equal to 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 5 is 80. 80 divided 6 is 40 over 3. This is 40 over 3. Let me try again. Bagin magkamal ako. 5 times 4 times 4 divide 6. 40 over 3. This is in kilonewton. Okay? So, that's the value for RA. For RB naman, we have used the submission of forces along Y is equal to 0, taking, clock, taking upward as the positive forces. So, we have RA and that is 40 over 3 plus RB. Right here, this is RB. Minus 5 times 4. This is equal to 0. So, your RB is equal to your RB is equal to um, 5 times 4 20 minus 40 over 3 20 over 3 so this is 20 over 3 kilom this is the verb RB okay next Kailangan natin ma-construct ang EI moment diagram. So we have here EI Y double prime is equal to the moment. Oh, kukuha natin ang moment. Take note, didi kita mag didi kita magkukuhaan EI moment diagram at the last segment. At the last segment. Let me erase this one. Okay. Didi kita hit last segment. Let me Okay. So, didi kita last segment. Ah, adi didi kita. Didi. Didi kita magpapasingkating plane. Okay, ha? But before you do that, you have to make sure. Ini ha? This is very, very important. You have to make sure nga itanan nga uniformly distributed load and uniformly um, varying load. Example, it uniformly distributed load is this one. Rectangular load, that's a uniformly distributed load. You also have the triangular load, and that is a uniformly um, varying load. Uniformly varying load. Okay, so, tanan, tanan nga, tanan nga, so, ganito nga load, uniformly distributed and uniformly varying load. Kailangan, continuous hiya, tipakadtuhan, pinaka-last nga, uh, pinaka-rightmost nga, uh, pinaka-right nga, makuan, pinaka-right nga, nga point. Pinaka right na point. Pinaka or hinga point. Okay. So, for this case, kita anagod. Diri man hiya continuous, di ba? Nagkutob layat point C. So, it aton gin bubuhat, gini extend ini natin. Gini extend. Okay. Gini extend ito natin hiya. Pero kung imo nga nag extend, na alter na, di ba? Na alter na, and iya original nga 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 load di ba ano yung original kasi nga load kutoblay din ha point C kutoblay din he 
nagbubutan ka man gin extend mo man o na alter na so to compensate that kuan that load nagbubutan gyap kita ha ubos okay ha yan so masugad hida nga may da ba ba may da ha ubos so it's as if para nagbabalance out lahi ha okay so parang litan kung may nakita another another beam okay another beam For example, an IMO uniform distributed load nag a This is the actual load, ha? Pananglitan lang. This is the actual load. Okay. There are two segments. This segment, ini nga segment, tapos ading nga segment. Siyempre, pag biling ni Muhit iya uh, moment equation, didi kahit last nga segment. Didi ka na magpapasing cutting plane. Okay. You don't have to, bangin mo pa kasi i-extend nga di nga di, ha? Diri mo na ito nag extend because nag extend la kita, did to han han imugin kat imugin katan i mean uh, how do i explain this gini extend mo la kon ah uh, kon an an ko an an iya an iya uniform distributed load is ah uh, diri kutob ngadtuhan last nga nga point dito han oh, oh, support And not support the, the point because sometimes kasi there are to it point it support sometimes kasi we have a beam like this uh, may ready support as added mo sa nga support kasi may ready mo ready uniformly distributed load waray man hiya kutob nga di kailangan talaga kumutubit yan nganto tapos ma, ma, ma compensate ka na lang nga di haubos okay okay anyway okay so that that's how you this is when Uh, this is only when you are using the double integration method. Okay? So, amun ito niya. Tapos magpapas ka yung cutting plane. O magpas ka din cutting plane. Yeah, magpapas ka yung cutting plane. This distance is equal to x. Okay? And your moment is equal to ra. This is x. ra times x. Minus, take note ha, may 5 kN ha ba o ba, kutub na nga di ha, point B. So that is 5 times X, sorry, this is 5 times X, that's the, magnit that's the magnitude pa lang, di ba, kasi this distance nga di, is X naman, and your 5 kN is kutub naman nga di. Okay, so that's the, the magnitude pa lang. Takay moment man ang kinibibiling. Times x over 2 pa. Diba? Kaani mo rin ka bubut nga. So this distance is x over 2. So 5 times x times x over 2. Tapos may da pa rin di aubos. Adi pa. Adi pa. Di man nga mga load. That is plus same magnitude 5 times What's what's this distance? Ano tinga distance? That is x minus 4 because this distance is 4. So ini nga distance that is x minus 4. So that is 5 times x minus 4. Take note magnitude pala iton hiya. This is the uniform the magnitude of the uniform distributed load ini nga 5. Tas ini an iya the distance where the uniform distributed load is acting. So, ini, ini hiya nga dudu ha. When you multiply, that's the magnitude of the force pa lang. Multiplied by the unit arm pa, that is, the moment arm, I mean, that is 4, ah, sorry, x minus 4, x minus 4. Kaya, ano naman din, it iya moment, uh, it iya load. Tapos, ini nga distance, that is x minus 4 over 2. Wala, dali na nakikita. Nakikita, nakikita pa ba? Gin, gin iso ko na nga rin. <laughs> Sige. Okay, so, amit ito niyot iya equation. Okay, but, take note ha, since, uh, kukuha man natin ano, an, an, ini kasi, ini, 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 ini nga equation, this is technically the equation for segment CB. But since ang natong kukuha is the equation for segment, um, <clears throat> segment, what's this? Uh, for the whole beam pala, for the whole beam. So, ibig sabihin, ini, ihibuunin natin nga, instead nga parenthesis, ito atong gagamitin is the, the bracket. The, so, this will become M is equal to RAX. What's the value of RA again? 
Ano itong value ng RA? Na, wala na. Na-delete ko man ang value ng RA. 40 over 3. Right? 40 over 3. Add to. RA is 40 over 3. X. Minus. This is 5X squared over 2. Plus. Mga sugat nga ni Hini. Ayaw niyo i-evaluate. Please, ayaw i-evaluate. Ayaw i-multiply 5 times X. Yes, is lang. So, magiging 5. Magiging X minus 4 times X minus 4 is X minus 4 squared. Take note, ayaw i-evaluate over 2. Yan. So, that's your moment equation. Okay? So, amat at gagamitin pagkadididiha ko an. Okay, let me... Let me bring it here. Kakali ko dili. Yeah? Okay. So, adin natin moment equation. Adin natin uh, equation para han, ano. Okay. So, we have here, i-write ko lang nga di. EI Y double prime is equal therefore to 40X over 3 minus 5x squared over 2 plus 5 x minus 4 squared over 2. Take note ha, inihiya nga, inihiya nga ay, symbol, ini nga parang greater than and less than, that's a bracket. Um, when the the value within that that bracket, the quantity within that bracket is less than 0, you have to disregard the whole, ano, the whole um, the whole term okay you have to disregard the whole term okay next ei y prime ibig sabihin ging common na and first derivative an an integral in integrate mo because the integral of y double prime is y prime so this will be equal to here ito niya 40x squared over 6 minus um, 5 over 5x cubed over 6 plus 5 x minus 4 cubed over 6. Of course, plus C1. C1 plus C1. <clears throat> okay. Next, we have here uh, let me decide to simplify this first. E i y prime. Isi simplify ko lang. 40 over 6. 40 over 6 is... Um, wait lang. Let me have a calculator. 40 over 6. That is 20 over... <laughs> oh, oh my God. Di rin ako nakakako. <laughs> Ginugutom na. <laughs> 20 x squared over, over 3. Minus 5x cubed over 6. Oh, 20 kate lang ah. Para mag, mag negative nga ni value dila. I do this. 3 hours na? Paray pa. <laughs> Nearly. Nearly. Mag 3 hours na ako nga nagiginamos didi. C1x plus C2. Yan. O, oh, mali na kita. Ay, hala, ginano ko. No, 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 no. Mali, mali. Gin, sisimplify ko pala nga yan. Okay, so, this is our equation for um, the slope or for, the slope for, or the deflection. Ah, the slope or the rotation, not the deflection. Okay. Tapos, i-integrate pa nga rin natin, makukuha natin ang EIY is equal to, this is 20x cubed over 3 times 3 over 9. That is 20x cubed over 9 minus 5x raised to 4 over 24. Ano? Masya ba? 24 plus 5 x minus 4 raised to 4 
over 24 plus C1x plus C2. Yan. Ini naman, amin hiya ang iyat aton. Um, deflection. Okay. So, ang pananglitan, ang ginbibiling naton is, uh, take note ha, ang atong ginbibiling is the maximum deflection. An atong ginbibiling is the maximum deflection. Let me try to erase this one. Let me erase ko lang ito di ha kay para may dako space. Uh, let me try to erase lang muna ha. Let me erase this one. An original kanina. Huh? Namutuloy na ako mahumal, madam. Ah, wait lang. Boring one. Oh, oh. Ah, wait lang, ha? Okay. So, ang uh, pananglitan ng gimibiling natin is the maximum deflection. Okay, may nakita problema because we don't know kung hain nga section and beam nag uh, uh, may the maximum deflection. What we need to do is to first, of course, uh, you have to anticipate lang. Eh. Okay, so the, when we draw the um, the elastic curve of this beam, parang usually ari man didi nga portion hand left to the left man usually an portion nga may da load, di ba? So dapat an aton an aton tawag ito an aton elastic curve would look like this, parang parang masugan. Masuka. Sige, sige. Ibili na, ibili na lang susi, madam. Okay. So, somewhere, somewhere here, aan hindi hi it kuan. Aada di da it uh, maximum deflection. Diri kita maaram kung ano itong nga distance. Kung what, what is that distance? Nga dididihan aton um, left, uh, left support. So, amo ito nit una nga nimo natin nga bibilngon. Okay, so, paano man natin bibilngon? <laughs> Mag-a-apply kita hin kuan. Mag-a-apply kita hin um, uh, what's this? Mag-a-apply kita unboundary condition. Okay. So, una, an atong boundary condition. Okay, di din natin yung butang. Ang una natin nga boundary condition at at x is equal to zero, we know that the deflection at that point is also zero. And also, at x is equal to um, six, we all we also know that the deflection of that at that point is also equal to zero. Okay, let us try to use that. I know. Okay, when we substitute uh, this boundary condition here to this equation, okay, let us try to solve. This is uh, magiging zero any. This is equal to. This is also zero. I'm using this one, ha? I'm using this one. Yung sa substitute ko nga da. Zero man na x is zero in e. This is also zero. This is also zero. This is zero. And we will la is C2. C2 is zero. So we can say that C2 is zero. Okay? C2 is zero. So mapatang kita rin di. C2 is zero. Now when you use this boundary condition, so you would zero. This is equal to 20 times 6 cube over 9 minus 5 times 6 raised to 4 over 24 plus 5. Um, uh, X is 6 minus 4 raised to 4 over 24 plus C1 times 6. C2 is 0. Never mind the C2 na. 
So solving for the value of C1, the value of C1, let me try to use your cal the calculator. This is 0 is equal to 26 cube over 9 minus 5 times 6 raised to 4. Raised to 4 pala, there is 3. Oops. Mm hmm over 24. 5, 6, 6, to 4, over 24, plus 5, quantity 6 minus 4, that is 2, raised to 4, over 24, plus times 6. Okay, solving for the value of the C1, your value of C1 is 35 over 5555. Five, five, five. Ano ba itong niya? In fraction. Okay, let us use na lang itong nga. Negative 35.556. Something like that. Okay, that's the value of C1. 30, negative 35.556. Okay, so that's the value of C1. Okay. Ang problema, dire kasi kita maaram kung ha in the init maximum deflection. So, paano natin masasolve ito? We will muna natin kung ha, ano it value it x where the maximum deflection occurs. Okay. So, So, paano ba? Oh my God. Um, oh my God. <laughs> we're, we're looking for the maximum deflection. So, kailangan natin mabili, mabilingan. Ini. So, when this is maximum... Is it? Do I mean maximum if deflection? When when the when the deflection is maximum, the 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 slope is zero. Is that right? Is that always correct? Diri ada ano? Diri ano? Tama, dear. Diri. So, paano man, kailangan kasi natin mabilingan. Kailangan kasi mabilingan kung I high in anon value han x. What's, what's the value of x when the, when the, ano, is maximum, when the deflection is maximum. So, zero and slope. Zero is slope, ano? Oo, oh, oh, tama. When, when, when the... Oo, oh, oh, tama. Depende type of beam. Kasi kung, kung cantilever beam, diri man hiya, for example, kung cantilever beam kasi, kung cantilever beam, tas, uh, may na ni mo load did eh. So, the, 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 ano, the, the reflection will, would look like this. So, this is the maximum deflection. Tapos, kung imo i-drawing di dahit ko, an, it's a tangent. There is zero. There is zero. Iba, it, iba. Depende kung ano. Okay. Pero kung suga din nga beam, tama. Pero kung suga dito nga beam, simply supported beam, the maximum deflection can be found where the, ano, y prime is zero. Okay, so, Another boundary condition that we can impose is is the fact that um, when uh, uh, the deflection is maximum, the the rotation or the def the angle the angle is zero. So we can use that fact. So um, another boundary condition, if uh, um, delta. Uh, the, 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 
when di ri when when ko an when delta Ah, ah, tama. When y prime is zero, this is when y prime is zero. That is, uh, y ma, y is maximum. Tama. Maximum. Oh, madali na. <laughs> so when y prime is zero, we say when the uh, the rotation or the angle is zero. This is for simply supported beam lang ha. Okay, y is max. Okay, so we can use this this ano. Okay, so we are finding for the value of x. We are solving, solving for value of x. Okay, so this will be, okay, gagamitin natin ang yung equation. So y prime is 0 daw. Adi man, y prime. Adi, y prime is 0. So this will be 0 is equal to um, 20x squared over 3 minus 5x cubed over 6 plus 5 x minus 4 cube over 6 plus c1 that is negative 35 negative 35 so uh, negative 35.556 but be careful because uh na, di ba nayakang kita yung maximum deflection is somewhere somewhere here somewhere in between a and c Ibig sabihin, an imo value ng x is less than 4. When your x is less than 4, take note here ha, di ba nayakan ako, mag negative nga ni value din he, dapat, hindi disregard here. So, when your x is less than 4, which is in fact true because uh, we are anticipating that the maximum deflection half is in between uh, A and C because most of the load is uh, added to ha, segment A and C, segment AC. So, in here din he, an imo x is less than 4. So, mag-yield in here in negative value. So, you have to disregard this, ano, disregard that um, that term. So, natin gagamitin la ini. Okay, now, solving for the value of x. Okay, let me solve for the value of x. That is 0 is equal to 20 x squared over 3 minus 5 x raised to 3 over 6 minus 35.556 oops shift solve pala shift solve the value is negative 2 point okay so your x is negative 2 point terabad to negative 2 hala negative man ay oh okay because there are uh, that is quadratic kasi di ba so there are uh, there are more than one value of x so let us try to solve say 3 ay ay pa din 3 kay suffer in between 0 and 4 so 2.88 so this is uh, ay bunga madam dumdum ka pa kunin <laughs> okay, let me explain ha. Kung kaya ano kangina, ang answer natin is negative 2 point something. Tas, now this time, ang ako na ko is 2.88. That is because our equation is cubic. Diba? Cubic, cubic equation has 3 roots. 3, three roots, man. So, takay na akong gamit is shift solve. So, sometimes talaga, you have to be very careful. Oh, okay, two, two, three. Cubic man here, so there are three roots. Oh, oh. But made up pa mas higher nga roots. So, anyway, ang ako na natong gagamitin is yada nga 2.88889. Kaya di ba nayakang kita, the value, um, the, the deflection is somewhere in between uh, A and C or 0 and 4, 0 to 4. So, that is 2.889 oh, meters. This is in meters. So, this is the value for X. Now, you already have the value of x. This is the place kung hain hay tatabo and maximum deflection. So, you will use that value of x to solve for the deflection. The maximum deflection. So, masaring ka naman, Didi. 
uh, adina, the, using this equation for the deflection, you have here EI, the deflection times the deflection is equal to 20 times 2.889 cube over 9 minus 5, sige ma'am, 2.889 raised to 4 over 24 plus we will disregard this we will disregard this term because our value for x is 2.889 that is less than less than 4 so mag yield man here negative so it disregard natin here mm -mm. so magiging minus your c1 is 35.556 times um the value of x is 2.889 yeah, now solving for the value of y, solving for the value of y, this is equal to, pera ba in here? Um, let me try to use the calculator. 20 times 2.889 cube over 9 minus 5. 2.889. Hello, kay it iba wa man load. Wala <laughs> 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 ano dire na ko ad. Ha ina ako. Five. Second term na ini, 2.889 raise, oops, adi nga yan, raise to 4. Minus 35.556 times 2.889. Yan. Equals. This is equal to negative 63. This is negative 63.65. This is 65. So this is y is equal to negative 63.65 over ei. So this is their maximum deflection. This is your maximum deflection. This is y negative times negative 63.65. Wa mo ito na yan, it, ano, uh, deflection. Okay. So, for your assignment. Oo, oh, oh, dapat may the assignment. For your assignment, um, uh, you, you have to solve the same, ano, the same equation. I mean, the same, um, the same beam. The same beam. Find the maximum deflection. Okay, and I can answer using this, ano, using this method, this double integration method. And I can answer is negative 63.65 over EI. Okay, now you have, your assignment will be to solve the same, ano, the same problem, the same, ini, this one, this one. But you will use um, the virtual work method, the unit load method. You have to find, you are to find for the maximum deflection using the, virtual work method okay so this one and also so do the assignment add to ngahin adi okay this one this one right here okay isusurat ko dito igin bibiling ha number one find the deflection at Find the deflection at, say, at A. Number two, find the deflection, same lang, at, hindi naman kita, at E. Igol, o ba? And number three, find the maximum deflection. Depending on the signal. <laughs> Wait for it. 
Okay, this is your assignment, ha? So, duduha nga, duduha nga B, man. Kanina, tapos, anyan. Okay, this is to be submitted next Friday. Next Friday. Okay, ihatag na mo ang link, ang pagpasa hindi. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for listening. Kung may daman na mati. <laughs> okay, so if you don't have any questions, you can raise it on Wednesday. You can raise it. Uh, Aton group chat. You can ask your questions. Para Wednesday ma-answer. Sige. Okay. Sige. Kindly inform also those uh, who are not uh, watching yana. Na may na assignment. The deadline will be on Friday. The deadline will be on Friday. Okay? Okay, sige. Thank you. And Happy New Year.